The Kayanea Gang, currently known as the Northeast Philly Irish Mob, is a predominantly Irish-American criminal network based in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The KNA gang was started following World War II and controlled the city's Irish-American criminal underworld for much of the late 20th century. The group was mainly a burglary ring for much of its early history, but shifted into loan sharking, gambling, and ultimately drug trafficking in its later existence. The name, KNE, is derived from Kensington and Allegheny, the road intersection where the gang originally formed out domestically. The network is known to have ties to various criminal organizations in its surrounding area. They are known to have amicable ties to the La Cosa Nostra, namely the Scarfo crime family, but also the South Jersey faction of the New York City-based Genovese crime family, the local Greek mob, local Jewish-American criminals, and various independent drug and hijacking gangs of various European ethnicities in the greater Philadelphia area. They are also said to have ties to the Irish Republican Army and the larger Irish Republican movement. History Beginnings as a burglary ring from the post-war 1950s to the 1970s, members of the network were tied to burglaries and theft operations all along the East Coast. While most of their work was around the Philadelphia area, they ventured out from their turf since the group's inception. A favorite target was the wealthy residential Jewish suburbs, which would be the livelihood of the group for many years. The crew was adamant about not carrying weapons with them while they burglarized. This was largely due to the liability of increased jail time if caught with a firearm. They also traded the cliché burglary attire for professional suits while on the job in case they were stopped. In those days, there was no overarching structure within the gang. It was horizontal in nature, there being several prominent crew chiefs who held influence. Their reach even extended outside the boundaries of Philadelphia as they targeted other ventures. In North Carolina, several members were known as the Hallmark Gang and would collaborate with the Dixie Mafia. They are also allegedly responsible for the Pottsville heist in 1959. George Holmes alleges that a showgirl named Lillian Rice gave the gang the tip they needed to pull for $478,000 in cash and jewelry from the home of John B. Rich. Lillian, Tiger Lil Rice was a well-known nightclub entrepreneur and former showgirl who had ties to the gangsters. Expansion into the methamphetamine trade by the late 1970s, with the advent of modern home security technologies, the burglary racket was no longer viable as a main source of income. With the rise of the drug culture of the 1980s, the group began to focus less on their signature brand of thievery and more towards traditional criminal schemes and the booming methamphetamine trade. This was largely due to the immense profit that was available due to the high demand in the area. By the early 1980s, John Carlisle Burkery had close ties with Angelo Bruno and Raymond Martirano of the Philadelphia crime family, as well as John McCulloch, union boss of the Roofers Union, Local 30. It was through these influential connections that the KNA gang would expand into other rackets, establishing its foothold in the Northeast. In 1983, Philadelphia garnered a reputation as the meth capital of the world, according to a statement published by the Associated Press from a local police officer. It is widely held that this was made possible due to the KNA gang and the Junior Black Mafia, among others. After being indicted for 14 counts of trafficking in methamphetamine and the chemical P2P in January 1982, Burkery fled to Ireland to avoid prosecution, where he supposedly had contacts in the Irish Republican Army. In the fall of 1987, after spending five years on the run, he was captured in June 1987 and subsequently faced trial. Burkery admitted to engaging in a large-scale meth deal with Chelsea Spohumers, leader of the Philadelphia Greek mob. Ronald Wrighton, a notable criminal figure in the methamphetamine trade, testified that Burkery had bought 200 gallons of P2P from Wrighton over the course of a year in 1980-1981. Prosecutors stated that he and Raymond Martirano had planned to take over all meth trafficking in Philadelphia. String of drug ring arrests Carl, better days, Jackson assumed control of the group.
Jackson went on to lead the group until his conviction in late 1987, just a week after his former boss faced trial and was also found guilty. Jackson was said to have gained around $4 million in drug profits in the period between his takeover of the gang's meth endeavors and his eventual arrest. He received a lifetime sentence in accordance with the continuing criminal enterprise statute, otherwise known as the Drug Kingpin Law. Along with Carl Jackson, 22 affiliate of the K&A meth ring were indicted under federal drug manufacturing charges related to an operation that authorities believe produced roughly $10 million worth of speed in hidden labs across the Pennsylvania area. They were said to have manufactured 100 pounds of methamphetamine at a time, which was then distributed by Jackson's subordinates. At the time, U.S. Attorney Edward Dennis claimed in a press release that the gang was one of the largest methamphetamine organizations in the nation. Edward Loney was to arrange the procurement of 50 gallons of P2P, a precursor chemical, along with Waldemar Walter Roder from Toronto, while Jackson sold mass quantities to contacts in New York. After the downfall of Carl Jackson, Roy Stocker became the dominant K&A member operating a methamphetamine manufacturing enterprise. In 1981, Stacker sought a partnership with Scarfo and in methamphetamine operation in Northeast Philadelphia, through Albert Red's Punt N.A. Between 1981 and 1986, he allegedly produced and distributed methamphetamine, commonly known as Speed, and also allegedly took part in extortion, loan sharking and burglary. The meth rings were sanctioned by the Scarfo crime family, who received a cut of the profits. In February 1991, Roy Stocker and three others were found guilty of operating a ring that sold $52 million worth of methamphetamine between 1981 and 1987. Rufer's Union Corruption in the Early 2000s The Traits brothers, who were connected to the K&A gang through the Rufer's Union, Local 30 were indicted for the murder of Robert Hammond. He was allegedly assumed to be an informant on the meth operation that the Traits brother ran in tandem with members of the k &A gang. David Crenetti who was involved in the operation soon testified against the defendants, dealing a blow to the k &A gang. Historical Membership Leaders Burglary Ring Era Captains The k &A Burglary Crew was a coalition of crew chiefs and the organization was a horizontal one in terms of structure. James Lella McCoy Edward Effie Burke Jr. Dash Influential k &A Crew Chief William Willie Sears k &A Crew Leader Louis Jr. Crippled Power k &A Crew Leader Post-80s Leaders Around 1980 the group switched to methamphetamine and with it came the need for a more hierarchical organization. Circa 1980-1982, John Burkery, Scarfo Crime Family Associate of Ray Martirano, 1982-1987, Carl Jackson, leader of the gang, 1987-1991, Roy Stocker, influential meth manufacturer and K&A burglar who aligned himself with Nicky Scarfo Charles Chick Goodrow, influential member in the K&A burglary ring, Francis James Brewer, member of the K&A burglary ring, Gillis Leo, member of the K&A burglary ring, James Jimmy Dolan, recruit of Eddie Burke and member of the K&A burglary ring, Hugh Huey Breslin, member of the burglary crew, deceased. James Jimmy Laverty, member of the burglary ring. John Gerard, member of Carl Jackson's crew. Dean Heiser, member of the burglary ring. Henry Sabe, member of Carl Jackson's meth ring. Kenneth Miller, cook for Carl Jackson's operation. James McKenzie, Carl Jackson's key distributor. Edward Loney, Carl Jackson's P2P supplier. William Chucky McKilvin, member of Carl Jackson's crew. Raymond Brown, member of the Stocker Drug Ring. James O'Malley, member of the Stocker Drug Ring. James Lefty Shannon, member of the Stocker Gang. Terry Lees, Roy Stocker's methamphetamine cook. William Stern, former Roofers Union Local 30 president and member of the Stocker Meth Ring. 
Robert, Irish Bobby Callor, former boxer, scramble master and enforcer for Roy Stocker. Michael Caputo, member of the Stocker drug ring. Barry Salzberg, member of the Stocker organization. John Goodwin, former k &A burglar and roofers union member and member of the trades meth ring. John Boggs, Donald Ray McCulloch Jr., Don, k &A associate whereabouts are unknown. Owen O. Dunn K&A Associate, mostly known as CK Member, County Kings. Joseph Battelle, a.k.a. Joe Black, Blackie Associations. Green Street Counts, K&A Member and Crew Chief. Roofers Union Affiliate. Owner of Northeast Philadelphia's Sherwood Club. Danny Gundecker, Member of the Burglary Ring. See also History of the Irish Americans and Philadelphia Philadelphia Badlands References